Hi guys, this is Tushar this side. So if you are getting an error while running a VMware virtual machine on a legacy processor, then this video might help you. In the recent versions of VMware Workstation, especially after VMware Workstation 12, uh, a number of uh, processors were deprecated by VMware and they were no more supported. So in this demo, I've got a VMware Workstation 16 installed on a very old processor. Uh, which is obviously no more supported. So as you can see, I've got a Xeon X5560, which is quite old uh, and has been discontinued. And although it does support virtualization, as you can see here, uh, but still it's too old uh, and is not no more supported by VMware Workstation 16. So in this demo, I've got a VMware Workstation 16. I've got a very old processor, no more supported by VMware, uh, although it does have virtualization enabled, uh, but it's too old to be supported. And I've got uh, a Windows 10 VM build, which was uh, built on a latest processor and later on ported on this machine. So when I try to run this um, VM on this workstation, I get an error, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's uh, give it a try. Let's open the VM. All right, so we have imported the machine and let's try to run it. And before we do that, as I told you, this VM was built on quite a latest processor. Um, however, I ported it to an old workstation. So let's give it a try. So this is the error we will get. Um, which says the host doesn't support virtualizing real mode. VMX unrestricted guest feature is necessary to run the virtual machine, which essentially means um, that this processor is no more supported. And, and bear in mind, though this processor does have virtualization enabled, uh, but still, if you go to the VMware release notes, you would see in the under the system requirement section you would find a list of uh, supported and non-supported processors. And obviously this particular processor is no more supported. So do check the system requirements in the release notes. All right, so what are our options? So the first option which comes to your mind is um, uh, we will have to uh, probably uninstall this version of your workstation and install a compatible version. But you don't need to go to that pane. Instead, there is an option uh, of uh, downgrading the version without uninstalling the VMware version. So if you go to the VM tab, say manage, and there's a change hardware compatibility option. So with this option, uh, you might get away running the VM without even uninstalling the current version, which is obviously a better option because you don't need to uninstall the whole version from your workstation and still be able to run your VM without uninstalling. So let's continue. Click next. Now, in my particular case, if I go downgrade it to the version 12, I might be lucky to run this VM. But again, you need to check the system requirements um, on the VMware official documentation and, and figure out which version you should downgrade to in your case. So in my case, I'll downgrade it to version 12. So let's click uh, next. So now you're presented with two options. Um, first one is uh, create a clone of this virtual machine, which essentially means it will leave your uh, original machine uh, intact and it will create a clone, a downgraded clone of this machine. Or you can alter this machine in place, in which case uh, you will have only one virtual machine or downgraded version. So it's up to you which, uh, which choice is convenient or applicable to you. In my case, I will choose the second option, which is alter in place. Click next. So here it's confirming that we are downgrading to hardware compatibility is being downgraded to workstation 12. Um, so we'll click finish. And, and within a second, we've got our machine downgraded. Let's close this. Now, hopefully uh, this machine should run. However, there is a chance it still might not run. So let's check it out. Click um, 
power on. So unfortunately, we got the same error again. So if this first option doesn't work for you, like in our case here, then you can go for a second option, which is basically tweaking the VMware Workstation configuration itself to allow for legacy CPU. So I'll show you the second option now. Let's open the VMware configuration, which is stored in program data. Navigate to VMware, VMware Workstation, and here's the config. So as a second option, uh, we will be tweaking this configuration for the VMware Workstation itself to allow for legacy CPUs to be run. So let's open this config file. So in the config file, you need to add one line saying monitor dot allow legacy CPU is equal to true. So let us, let's add this line, give it enter. Let's save it, close. All right, let's close the windows. Let's dismiss this and hit the power button. Here you go. So it looks like it's booting now. So I'll press, I copied it. and it's booting up. Now bear in mind, uh, this is not a very good option uh, because uh, obviously it's not using the latest versions uh, or you're not running on a latest CPU. Um, and so it's downgrading essentially, which means that you might have a poor performance of your VM. But if you have to do, then you can try these two options. All right, so the OS has booted. And here we are, we've been able to boot the machine. Once again, bear in mind, this is not a very advisable choice because you might experience poor performance. All right, guys, thanks. Uh, hopefully uh, this was helpful. See you again next time. Bye-bye.